Welcome back to another episode of the Naples Area Real Estate Channel. On today's episode, we're going to discuss a hot topic in Collier County, and that is, are short-term rentals legal and allowed here in Collier County? On March 26th, the county commissioners voted abruptly, four to one, to direct county staff to enforce rules on short-term rentals in the county. While this topic has been discussed in general terms at meetings, it was not on the agenda. So the quick action of the county commissioners has raised some flags in the real estate world and the business world. Given the fact that Naples is a destination for tourists, it is apparent that online platforms such as Airbnb have exploded. However, with the ruling of the Collier County Board of Commissioners, they're trying to say, that platforms that allow short-term rentals such as weekly, monthly, and daily rentals are going to be generally prohibited in the area. Prior to the age of the internet and the arrival of Airbnb in 2008, most of these rentals have existed off the radar, under the grid, and without much regulation. It's also understandable that some full-time residents are complaining that when they moved into a residential area, they expected the peace and tranquility that comes with home ownership. And now it seems like they have a hotel right next door to them. Now, obviously the majority of people want to have a mix in between. That's fair because we do have a lot of snowbirds who come down here and enjoy our weather for the winter months. So short-term rentals are really necessary to keep our economy thriving. There are over 14,000 homes in Collier County that are registered on BBRO and Airbnb alone. One of the biggest issues is the county has not provided any documentation which allows them to enforce these short-term laws that they want to enforce. So on April 9th, 2019, the board voted three to two to reconsider the previous action that they abruptly voted on. So the bottom line is short-term rentals aren't going anywhere. They're going to be a way for homeowners to maximize their investment for the future. This issue is still going to be dragged out through the county commissioners for a while. So stay tuned to this channel and I will update you with the latest information as soon as it's available.